All right, we've reached the official trailhead. And this is uh, Kite Lake. And uh, I think I'm gonna cross over here. I think there's a crossing. There's a one, lot of cars here, like 15 cars maybe. So here you go. We're going on the way up to Democrats. We got, I think a little over 2,000 feet to climb. Uh, we started our ascent and it's uh it's very steep uh, and it's gonna be like this the whole way so we've only come up a couple hundred feet so far well, the trail has turned to complete rock pretty much and we're totally in the fog and uh the trail is sometimes a little hard to follow. I got off it and do a bunch of boulders. So, and right here it's good rocky, but they've built a trail into just this boulder, the boulder slope of the mountain. Well, this is really cool. The sun's starting to come out or come through the, the fog. It's a very eerie scene. Maybe it'll burn it all off. Oh, there's a snowfield up there. I can hear people. So, well, I know there's people somewhere on this with all the cars. I haven't seen my first person yet. So I'll check in higher up. Finally. Ran into other people. I think we've hit the saddle between Lincoln and uh, Cameron. I think. Yeah. I think we're at about 13.5. There's a bunch of people heading up now. So, whew. Got about 1,500 foot of gain in, another five, 600 to the summit, and then I'll have another 1,000 or so of down and up. So, headed up. Heading up, starting to get some views. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty little flat part. And we probably have 300 feet or so to the summit, I would guess. That saddle might be lower than 13.5. Past two people going up and five or six coming down. There's one guy in front of me here. This is rocky. This is pretty awesome though. Look at these views and there's uh, Lincoln over there. Or not Lincoln, Cameron. Awesome. Well, we have further than I thought to the summit, but look at this view. Wow. That's definitely Cameron and then that point you see beyond should be a uh, Democrat. So cool to be up above the clouds. So we still have another 100 feet, 150 feet to gain. Cross on a snow field. No traction devices needed. This is unbelievable up here. This guy doesn't have a shirt on. I'm gonna have to put some sunscreen on now that I'm up above the clouds. Maybe on the summit I'll do that. I don't know, it's just a tan shirt. Never mind. So, check in at the summit. 
on it. Wow. Mount Lincoln. So awesome. Nice lush green valley down there. So down over there, down there. Then there, right? and then down somewhere. Oh, I'll we'll record the next one. are now on flat part for a big descent down to that saddle, and then probably a good seven or eight hundred foot gain up. That's gonna be a nice. That's a nice climb. You drop down pretty far over there. Whew, there's Lincoln back there. There's Cameron up there. We're uh, probably two thirds of the way up. It's been steep. It's getting flatter now. Probably still have, I don't know, 200, 250 feet to gain. And there's Ross. Looks like there's a person up there. It's not easy to tell what the highest point is. It's just like this ridge. Could be where this pile of rocks is, but uh so there's one over there. I'm not sure if that's the uh... Maybe that's a uh, Democrat over there, the people have people around. Yeah, we're just gonna call this the summit. It's all about the same elevation, it looks like. So, now we drop not too far though, and then head over where you see all those people. And then uh, apparently drop down the other side. Can't even see where Broth is, so yeah. So now, got to drop down there, and then that is a uh, bross, and then I drop down somehow off a of bross back. So, there you go, Mount Lincoln. All right. Mm. I don't even I think I took any pictures with my phone of a uh, Democrat because I took the video. <laughs> I don't think I ever took my phone out. But anyway, we've descended uh, probably below 14,000 feet. As you can see, we are Cameron's up there. Can't see Democrats in the fog. Um, and we're starting uh, over to Bross. It's a fairly flat walk. Starting to see some Green Valley. We are uh, on a very steep descent. I'm trying to show it to you. Ow. You can put your feet on dirt most of the time, which makes it a little better. But you can't get moving with any sort of speed whatsoever. We are descending quickly though, over. I have a hard time keeping the name straight of all these in the order. Look at this, this trail just goes all the way around this like cirque here into the fog. You can see it wrap around. At least it's straightforward, easy to follow. 
trail's been easy to follow all day. A couple sections where you had to walk through snow. But uh, aside from like three or four steps of post holing, there were no issues. Yeah, that's nice. You can slide with it. Look, I see cars. See that? All right, I'm not gonna film anymore. But uh, headed down still. Fresh snow melt. There's the parking lot, the main one, not where I am. Um, and I'm not there either, further. But uh, you can see we're almost down. The Calibron is a wrap. Uh, it's almost flat again. Little steps. Oh, and surprisingly, it's, well, it's still foggy. There's a little, little sun, little blue sky. So we basically looped up there, went all around out there, what you can't see, and then over there somewhere and came back. Nice little loop. Highly recommended if you don't like long mileage days. It's not a ton of elevation gain either. That's it. This is a nice, it's a very nice valley here. Not as green as maybe Rainier or somewhere else that you might see in the Tetons or but uh or Europe for that matter. Pretty green. So that's it. In case you're interested what the town of Fairplay looks like, um this is it. And the speed limit is 25 miles an hour on the main road. Um it's at about 10,000 feet. Um which is obviously pretty high. Looks like some old, that looks like a cool old historic building. There's some signs about it. I don't know what this little pavilion is. Historic Front Street. Shopping, dining. It didn't say the population on the sign, but I'm assuming that it's pretty small. That's a nice looking shed. Front Street Shops. You know what? I got time to kill. I'm gonna go check out the, the main strip, see what it looks like. Alright.